Hello there, my name is Aki Anastasiu. We are at the University of Johannesburg. We are at the biochemistry department. Well, you've heard of the plasma gang. Many people have called into John Robbie saying that there's this plasma gang that are stealing the plasma televisions and there's a special white powder that's inside the plasma televisions that they're mixing this together with heroin and dacha and they're making new drugs like tick and nyaupe. Now, we don't know if this is true or not, but we're here to find out. Follow me, let's do a chemistry lesson. So here we are in Dr. Edwin Mortlani's lab. We've got a plasma TV, we've got all the equipment and we're going to find out what this white powder is all about. So now the first thing I need to explain is the makeup of the television yes. screen itself. Right. This is a plasma television screen like you've already mentioned and right in front is the protective glass screen. Then behind the screen you will find a layer of what is called a dielectric material yes. that contains electrodes that are standing vertically up this way and behind the electrodes now you find a layer of magnesium oxide uh -huh. after the magnesium oxide now we get what we call the pixels or the cells in which the color generation happens so that we can see the picture so behind these pixels are other electrodes as well let's get underway We have now dissected this TV, mm -hmm. right? We're down to this white powder That's true. in this plasma screen over here, mm -hmm. this broken one over here. That's right. Um, it's not actually a white powder, it's like almost coated on here. That's right. What is this stuff? This stuff is magnesium oxide. It is used mainly as a refractory material because it has very high melting point and very high boiling point and therefore these plasma televisions generate heat so now this is acting as a protective layer for, to separate the electrodes from what you call the pixels the color generating pixels is it dangerous stuff it is not dangerous stuff at all can you prove this to me The moment of truth has arrived. We are going to find out if this substance, what the alkalinity of the substance is. Right? That's right. And so what do, you, what do you call those things? Using what we call a universal indicator paper. So now what it, color should it turn for us to really say that this is... Um, basic. This is now alkaline. So uh -huh. now we've got here pH 7 is slightly green and it is the color of neutral water the water that you drink ah. that means no acid no alkaline right when it turns to shades of yellow and red it means you are having an acid okay. so now that's like your vinegar your battery acid all of them will measure this anything higher than seven any color that is a shade of dark green to blue tells you you've got an alkaline like your soap is okay so now when we dip this in this and it turns a color in this range then we know we've got the hydroxide to see that the ph is Does it, is this going to be instant yes instant like that so now where no ways look at this so, so this is completely alkaline this is completely it's harmless alkaline. it's harmless this is what's come out from the plasma TV with That's the white it. powder that we've mixed up. We've, we've got it. this test over here. Mm -hmm. It's picked up, but it's alkaline. That's and right. now what the doctor is saying that this stuff is identical to this stuff, which is milk of magnesia. Yes. And now we're going to test the reaction. Wonderful. I'm going to dip this into the milk of magnesia and then we see what color we get. And it is alkaline, oh, wow. just like that one. The active ingredient is the same active ingredient that we've just generated in there. Again, proving the fact that the white powder in plasma screens does no, has no reaction to you chemically. It's not a drug. It's yes. a rubbish story. It's a myth. Don't believe it. Indeed. Dr. Motlani. Yes, sir. Thank you so much for your time. This has been absolutely fascinating. Only a pleasure, sir. I'll drink to that. Cheers. Mm -hmm. 
Eyewitness News. In touch, in tune, and independent. For the latest, log on to ewn.co.za or ewn.mobi.